what's going on guys gonna be showing you how to play some man moon twitch jungle no it's not bad no it's not troll it's actually quite popular on twitch 80 carry i'm gonna be showing you guys how to take advantage of that on twitch jungle the most important thing is that you go with lethal tempo otherwise if you don't you won't have enough attack speed and it also builds quite nicely because we're gonna be going blood razor into mana moon and then hurricane and the really nice thing about that is we took the bloodline which will hurt your early ganks a bit yes however we're not going to worry about that because we're playing more for the mid late game on this build and we're still going to be looking for some cheese ganks but yeah so we got our ward down for our red buff we just don't want Jax to start on it a lot of times on twitch though it's okay if you don't start red i know that sounds super cringe to say but it's better not to die than it is to die on your red buff so in this case if i took red buff anyways you probably warded it all up so in this case i'd actually rather start with my bot lane there's a good chance they late invade me i don't really want to deal a Jax Malphite Diana fighting me level one on my red buff so it is what it is we have the lethal tempo presence of mind for the mana moon bloodline coup de grace nimbus and gathering storm we also have a morgana we're not dual with anyone 100 solo coup i'm just saying we have a morgana which will be nice for late game team fights if we didn't have morgana then i would have been more likely to go for a lethal i mean for press the attack but since i can just shred people faster I would actually rather just go for, because you have to stand still more the more you auto, so I would actually just rather go for the lethal tempo since I have to work on a black shield. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm actually going to save my red smi my, uh, smite here. Only reason is because I want to get to my red buff. So I'm going to pop a potion, I'm going to head over there, I have my words down. I'm going to go ahead and pop a plant, Q, and head over. I'm going to wait to attack it until I've cleared this area, a lot of times mid laners will ward the raptor area, either this bush here or in the pit so i'm just gonna try to get all the way over and make sure this area isn't warded and it's not we never saw jacks cross over so we should be good to go here gonna pop our other potion taking a lot of damage that's one bad thing about not starting on red buff we got our red buff now though we're ready to go we're gonna go invisible early just in case that bush is warded i want to make sure i can get here he's low on mana if he was full mana, like the full mana full HP, I really would think not. I would not do this. That would be a very bad idea. I'm gonna hit him with this. I'm all the way behind him. He has nowhere to go, really. He's just gonna have to suicide. Jax is probably there, realistically. That's why he's pinging that out. Probably in bush waiting for Scuttle. Mm, I really want this. Malphite doesn't have TP, so I'm gonna try to push Scuttle my way. I'm going to push it away from Diana towards my top laner. Their Malphite's dead. My Volibear did use Ignite. I think I can regank top. On Twitch, you're usually going to avoid Raptors on your first clear. You want to wait until you can back. I, w I wouldn't Q a little early there. That's fair to say. I'll just wait right here. I'll just go ahead and set up a reset. Malphite's likely to let this wave just crash into him anyways, and he should have kind of been the lane by now. Maybe Jax will come gank this. It's hard to say. Good chance Malphite will step up to catch on this part. Dude, I don't know where this guy's at. He's like actually just chilling. We kind of have to shove this now. It's a really big wave. So we're, we're in a bit of a weird spot off that. I actually just got all four of those. That was kind of dirty for me to take that. I'm just trying to dump that into his turret. And now I'm going to go, since I still have my red buff, I'm going to go hit my golems up real fast. I'll show you guys how to farm those on Twitch. So you start up on Twitch, you're going to be taxing a few lanes. Hopefully you get a kill or at least a successful gank off. Looks like Malphite killed him, which is good. Jax is top side. Go ahead and smite it. As long as you kite the big golem around the little one, you'll take very little damage. And since we're going to be backing here, I'm just trying to stack my poison up on all of them and set up my E. I accidentally reset that goal, unfortunately. I'm just going to go ahead and reset. Jax is not necessarily in the area, but he's topside. I don't want to fight him, though. I'd rather spend my gold and get my red smite on Twitch. You don't really want blue smite. Red smite, key if there's a jungler who can kill you, you really want red smite. And most junglers can kill Twitch. So we got our double dagger, we're going to get a pink ward, and we're going to go set up for a bot side gank. 
We do have the Morgana Snare, the Tristana AoE Slow. As long as we go for Lulu, it should be free. Mid lane's also gankable because we have the Galio CC. We have a lot of gankable lanes. We're going to queue super early to get to our camp. Big movement speed bonus. 10% movement speed for 10 seconds is pretty substantial. And our Bloodline's going to start to scalp really nicely. And our Gathering Storm as well, 20 minute mark. Nimbus Cloak's mainly for staying alive in team fights off your flash and for your smite ganks. Looks like that Scuttle's still up, so I'm going to head over there. Gonna hit a potion. Gromp really will do the most damage to you out of any of your camps. It's a nasty guy. I'm gonna go ahead and Q for the attack speed. My balling's pretty good. This was a good dragon to call out since they have them shoved under turret. Tristan's trying to tank it for me. Got it. I'm getting some autos off on Jax. I'm going to use my Q reset here. I'm going to flash. I got my Nimbus Cloak speed up. Got him. <laughs> we actually played that so clean. I don't think we can do our blue. I think it's going to kill us. And if I had Smite, I could... I am healing off of it, but damn, it hurts. It's doing 89 per auto. Since we have life still, we can actually do this. Yeah, that can't kill us. I was watching the health. That was really close. If I didn't have lifeline, probably wouldn't have been able to. Gonna have to kill the small wolves first. Yeah. Alright, not bad. And then we'll reset for red buff because we are kind of low. We'll have our full Blood Razor, which is really nice. And we'll be able to carry this game. We'll go Blood Razor straight into our Mana Moon. We'll go Blood Razor, pick up Tier 1 Boots, go Mana Moon. And we'll be ready to carry our team. Really well played overall. Great Galio ult. I secured Dragon. And uh, we kited out. We didn't go into melee mode. When there's a lot of people like that, you don't want to melee them because they can focus you down really fast. So stay at range. Situations like those, you only go into melee mode when you can get away with it, which is very rare since you're super, super squishy. Oof, it took someone who's over here. I'm gonna use my sweeper to make sure they're not. This area isn't warded. It's a good chance they're on my red waiting in that bush, so I'm gonna yank it out. Whoever took those raptors, most likely Diana if Jax wasn't already on my red. Jax may be waiting in bush though. Check this area, see if it's pinked right here. Nope, we're good to go. Gyle's got a deep flank gank, that's awesome. Can't wait to get our Mana Moon. The way Mana Moon synergizes with Hurricane is super good. Mana Moon also gives you an insane amount of damage. It gives you 70 AD pretty much right when you buy it. And then when it's maxed out, it's giving you like 80 or 90 attack damage, which is nuts. Naughty stuff. I guess it actually gives you 50 or 60 AD when you first buy it, so. Solid when you first buy it, and it's a super inexpensive item. It's not troll at all. It actually works really well on Twitch with his ulti and hurricane and all that stuff. Looks like Jack's bot side. I'm going to take his blue. He just left it wide open for me. Left the door right open. I'm going to walk right in. I don't think it'll die. Twitch poison weak. Uh, I think he's going to get solo there. I can't really get to him in time. He's spam pinging me. He, he's been in that fight for four seconds. I don't know why I'm getting pinged right now. Yeah, they must be duo. <laughs> More God is calling me a dog. When they started to ping me, he was dead within the next three seconds. Even if I ran up there, I would have been five seconds late. There, there are some angry players, though. Some angry players, man. In situations like those, you don't type back. You don't say, well, I couldn't have gotten there anyways. No, you just, you just mute them. That's all you can do. Can't go for Harold. Jax is going to be in the area. I'm not going to take his CS. I'm just going to help him shove it. His ult's up, so he would like to roam anyways. So now he can roam. And it also puts pressure on Diana. We don't want Diana to be free roaming. I'm break some wards while we're out here. Don't know where Diana's at. If Jax blows his E here, I can kill him. 
It looks like Jax is going to his blue side. He doesn't realize it's gone. Gonna get these wraps. Just farm it up. A, lo a lot of times on Twitch jungle, after you have full jungle item, your farming is actually solid. So if there's not a free gank, it's okay to farm it up a bit. Gonna keep an eye on them. This bush might be worded. I'll pass these minions before they're up. The golems are already down, unfortunately. I just got Lulu ulted. Amazing Morgana snare. Ooh, my poison's on. The moment I run under turret, I'm gonna die. It's gonna aggro me. Oh, I can't get to her. There's no way. She'll kill me with one uh, QR. Gonna hit her with one E. I had literally one poison stack on her. That's all I got. Gonna peck her jacks down from a distance. Tristana ulted him off. I think she actually would have been better off holding onto her ulti there. Got him. Nimbus Cloak helped me kite there with my uh, lethal tempo. Nimbus Cloak was pretty strong. I have enough life still off of Bloodline and my jungle item to where I think I can just take this. Yeah, I'll just pull it out. I can actually solo this. No, nearly, nearly, nearly. If I had Smite, I could. Because of the healing Smite gives. Not bad. Blue buff's up in 15. I can take Grant then Wolves. Blue buff. I'll be... I don't want to say full HP, but I'll be doing not too shabby. Total life still. I'm at 6%. It's decent. So let me stay alive. The reason for going the life still, I don't recommend it every time. If you go and press the attack, I actually wouldn't recommend the life still because that takes away from your ganks. It's more for the scaling. The reason why I like going attack speed in this setup is if you're not going to be rushing Bork or getting any life still in your build early on, then you kind of need it in your runes. Just kite it out. There we go. Didn't even have to smite it. Go ahead and just eat this plant. Should have queued. Should have autoed it first before I queued. So now I can go bot. Looks like Diana's backing. This area is warded. They're laying some good wards, man. That is just really deep. Really good ward by them. Jack's red up 20 seconds. I can play around that. Well, I guess my wards, my red's up in 20 seconds. So his will his is gray. That's 50 seconds or less. Okay, now it's yellow. That's 15 seconds. I'm gonna take it right when it comes in. I need a sip of water though. These allergies are brutal, man. I think they're coming for this. This could very well be warded, so I'm going to pull it out away from the walls over there. Got red buff. Diana's free. She's up way too far. She doesn't have full item. Her spell should be relatively on cooldown. Going to kite it out with my Nimbus Cloak. I'll just ult her just to be safe. She might have lived. I thought her maybe her shield was going to come back off a of cooldown. So I didn't want to risk her just barely living in the last half a second. So I'll just pop the ult. I was hoping my poison and red smite would kill her, but she was just getting too far away. I knew if I didn't ult, things were going to get hairy. Jax might have taken my red. I haven't. Oh, cool. Still up. I haven't really been keeping track of him. He hasn't really been on the map. And you see how much CS I have? 100 CS for a jungle at the 15 minute mark is actually quite solid. That's what I'm saying. If you can get early gold on Twitch, you do have a farm option. Farming is a viable option if you can get early gold on him. He's not bad at it if you get early gold. And then you just scale up super, super hard. Like a mega Kindred. Better than Kindred, honestly. Kindred needs a lot of marks, and then she still has less range than Twitch when he Twitch is on his ult. Twitch has a more, uh, more fluid playstyle, in my opinion, as long as he gets that kill. Otherwise, Kindred's normally a better pick. We, I would like to back here, get mana, moon, boots. I could stick around, but Jax has as much items as me, and if he backs, he'll have more items. So even though I'm three levels up, I accidentally just canceled my recall. That's a ripperoni right there, guys. We can get our mana, moon, though. It's only, guys, it's only 2,400 gold, and every time you auto something for th up to three times in 12 seconds, it builds you stacks on it, which is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and get my normal boots, and now I'm going to build into Hurricane. I'm not going to get tier two boots for a bit. Need to get that hurricane rush, and we'll be stacking up this mana moon really, really fast. The mana moon is already given us. It's already given us 62 attack damage. 
for 2400 gold 62 attack damage and basically infinite mana that's really good really really good because once it's finished instead of 62 ad it's going to be giving us like 80 ad which is a lot plus it's going to be giving us insane on hit damage as well yeah don't forget about that on hit damage because that is serious stuff yeah, the Nimbus Cloak's really nice for kiting out, especially with Lethal Tempo. With Pressy Attack, you don't really need the Nimbus Cloak kite as much. I would still recommend Domination Tree if you're going to go PTA. A little better than lower elo for Hyper Cheese Ganks. I'm going to pick up this wave. I'm going to clear, clear it out. Might be able to get a pick here. Not sure Jax is, so I'm gonna have to pay attention. Don't know if he could just be waiting in a bush. He saw me cross over, so they know I'm in the area. Okay, this isn't warded. Mm, that is a pink ward, though. I'll just go for Herald. I have flash. Worst case scenario, I can flash out back of the pit. Not bad. Let's pick it up. Like this. And we're building up our mana moon right now as well. Accidentally got hit by it. Complete accident. I'll be healing up really fast off it though. And we also have Dragon coming up. Might be able to solo Ezreal. There is that still that ward right there. Might be able to pick him off. As long as this one isn't pinked. He's going to back in that bush. Or he's going to just stand there and reset. I'll use W to give me vision. I'll throw it in towards the front of the bush. He's dead. I didn't even have to flash, and he flashed, and I believe he healed as well. I'm going to break this pink. I used my W to give me vision, since I figured he was in the bush anyways. And I threw it more towards the front, middle of the bush. That way, he would have to walk through it for the maximum slow. Jax could be here. They know I'm in the area, and they're not going for a dragon, so I kind of have to pull off. He could very well be in that bush, because he's missing. It's just not worth it. I'm going to get out of here. I don't like being there. I still don't know where Jax is. He could have very well been in that bush waiting for me to step slightly closer. I'm going to farm this up. Scale up my mana moon. Get really beefy. But you want to put on an auto onto pretty much each of them when you're doing that. So you can stack up your your passive into E, e damage. So like here you'd auto the little wolf once each. Let him sit on your W and then bada boom. Alright, let's pick this up. Our ulti's up soon, so we could go in for a play. Ezreal has no sums. No, Ezreal flashes like 22 minutes. It's pretty far ways away. Mmm, dang. I kited out too hard. Kited it out too hard, man. I accidentally reset it. Have about a third of my mana moon finish, which is pretty good. Mmm, Ezreal... I kind of lost vision of everybody. Killed him. Barely. I almost lost all my shutdown gold, which would have been a tragedy. I'm going to lay my Herald. I nearly killed Lulu and Ezreal, but Lulu had ult and Lulu had flash. And Guardian. <laughs> Guardian made that very difficult. Alright, let's shove it in. Let's take everything. Healing up off the minions as well with my 12% life still that I have for free. In my runes. I don't know if Malphite has ult, so I'm just going to chill. He could one-shot me with if he has Ignite up. I'm going to auto the little ones once and take down the big ones. The thing is, Volibear's trying to take them. No, I guess not. I guess he's not mad at me anymore. Him and Morgana were spam pinging me and calling me dog and stuff, but I guess they're over it now. They moved on to bigger and better things. Like calling the enemies dog and all chat. <laughs> I had I muted them. I just didn't wanna I wanted to focus, you know. I don't like wanna read what they have to say. Let's get wraps. And then we'll get a red buff. And they're all grouping up mid. Even when you see I have my camera locked, I'm looking at the mini map. Like I'm not just looking at my screen when I have it locked.
And yeah, we're gonna back and get Hurricane. I don't think they would dare to start Baron. They don't really have the damage for it, and it would take them forever, and not all of us are alive. So the odds of them doing that are quite slim. With that being said, Morgana should ward it since they are in the area. It is a slim possibility. Okay, it doesn't look like they're on it. All right, so yeah, we pretty much have a full build. We're gonna go ahead and pick up Merc Treads. Even though we do have Lethal Tempo and Berserker Greaves are nice, I don't trust Morgana to pill for me. I'm not duo abusing, I don't have a Lulu or Tark or anything like that. So I'm gonna play it safe, go Merc Treads. They have the Jax done, the Lulu Polymorph. Uh, they have slows and shit, so I'm just play it safe. They also have a lot of AP bursts. They have a uh, little bit of AP on Jax, Malphites, the Diana obviously and Lulu. I'm gonna let Jax use this stun, or I'm trying to. Malphi actually just ulted me, that's so annoying. They just got my shutdown because the Malphite. That sucks. His Thorn Melt screwed me over really hard because the Thorn Melt cuts your healing in half, so my life still went down to 6% life still. And also take damage when I auto him, but I was kiting it out pretty hard with my Red Smite on the Jax, and then obviously Malphite. Really good ult. I'm gonna have to build armor pen now, unfortunately. It's not something I like to have to build this early, but Last Whisper is definitely the move into the, the Malphite. He's just stacking armor. He's got triple armor item already with a thorn mail. We're gonna have an ocean dragon fight here in a second. And I think we should win that fight. Malphite still dead. I think he'll be I think we can start it while he's still technically coming out of base. I guess we'll see. I'm gonna queue to get over there. Extra movement speed. 10% for 10 for 14 seconds. Triples when nearby enemies champions cannot see him. I didn't realize that. I play a lot of Twitch. This bunch of triples when nearby enemy champions cannot see him. So if I'm near some an enemy champion they can't see me at triples, but not when I'm just walking around with it. So if you're like juking, hard juking people, you go really fast. All right, I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna try to kite it out away from the walls so they can't just jump over and steal it really quick got it that's dragon soul no ult i need morgana to black shield me see that's why i'm saying like i don't know who she's black shielding honestly i guess she used it on galio or something but i just like black shield me it's free that's a, that's what I don't like about uh, going a build that Rat Iriel would go, like uh, BF Sword into Hurricane. The problem with that is, is if your team literally doesn't know how to pill, like Morgana just legit didn't black shield me, then I'll, I'll get munched up by everyone going after me. So, it's so whatever. We got the dragon, we still killed all of them for the most part. We're in a really good spot. I'm going to have to get a... After I get my last whisper, for what is it, 20%? After I get this, oh, I'm gonna get a, a hex drinker. I think the hex drinker is the way to go here. Otherwise, Diana and Malphite can pretty much just one shot me. And the hex drinker will also make me take less damage from the Malphite. Alright, just gotta meet the rest of them. Solid stuff. I'd rather not do a team fight until my ultimate's up, so the main reason I don't want to go over there for baiting a Baron, quote unquote. It, I just don't like that when my ulti's down. But now that it's up, I'll come over here. I think I could probably kill Jax. Yeah. Auto, auto with Red Smite on, and then press E. Mm, I think I can actually kill this chick. I should have fought her right there and then. Yeah, I should have just fought her right there. I definitely would have killed her. Because she just used her R. And I think she used her Q as well. Alright guys, that's GG. That's some Mana Moon Hurricane Twitch Jungle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Kingstix. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.